that was weird. But, um, alright, so basically, I'm tired, but, <laughs> turn my mic up. Okay, so, basically, I'm going to teach y'all, well, for most people or new people how to tune or I don't know how to say so, so someone know what they're doing okay so first off alright obviously I'm gonna max everything out Okay. 
Okay. Hold on. All right, so for dying my squatting is uh, I try to call. This, this is the best example for squatting. Okay. You see how my try to call lifts up the ground like that? That's called squatting. Whenever. Squats. So, uh, where are you already? Get the damp to like 200. You want to lower the stiffness. The stiffness will also lower the car. So you want to raise the car. You want to raise the pre comp. Okay, now you want to do the dampening for this as well. You can lower it a little bit, raise it, and then this can be lowered just a little bit more. So those stiff ones. So you just raise this down, the stiffness, and you can raise it up a little bit more, raise the stiffness down just a little bit, and raise this up just a little bit more. The stiffness makes the suspension, you know, not as stiff, so. That's it. Now you're lifting up even further. That's how you get the, you know, the launch effect to make it, you know. Squat, they look like they're 
16. Yeah, 216. Okay, now drive differential. Okay, so torque vectoring. So this means the front is like, how can I put this? The front is pulling the car. And if you do rear, the rear is pushing the car. So it all depends on the car. So we can do, we can drive. I feel like rear will work better for this. So the rear is pretty much, there's more power to the rear. So it's adding more power to the, to the rear, to the rear, uh, to the, to the rear wheels. So it's adding more power back here, so it's gonna push your it's gonna push your car. The front if you do it to the front, the front is dragging your car. So front means dragging, rear means pushing. Sometimes dragging is the best. It's like this, okay. I don't think I don't think pushing helps. feels when you first get it and how it comes with stock vector if it feels slower with rear then you want to make it front if it feels slower with the more front then you want to push it to rear drag cars I increase the power in the middle, but for drag cars I lower it. doesn't have 
have that. It doesn't give it that launch like how it was with just a regular. It does, but mm, I don't know. It doesn't feel the same to me. It's, it's whatever you prefer, though. But I just like it to the rear. squatting effect all this stuff you can you can change the con the lens yourself if that's what you're into transmissions like everything like these are stock pretty much i mean maxed so yeah, that's pretty much how you do a track build uh torque vector in front it means that the car is getting pulled rear means the rear is pushing it, it's adding more power to the rear um you don't have to always do the front diff, but if you want to, it's all-wheel drive. You can. If not, you can just do rear-wheel drive. It doesn't really doesn't really affect it that much. And uh, gearing, you always want to do short. Um, honestly, my best gearing is the shorter you can go. So if you can reach, um, how can I? If you can reach, like your max speed before the end, not like right at the end, or a little bit right after the end is probably the best um gearings but um yeah that's pretty much basic how to do a drag build on on this game and uh next i will teach you how to do a top speed build so uh yeah catch y'all on the next one and peace out